Hello, and welcome to another week of Obscure and Dead album reviews. I'm Azzy. And I'm Mouse. And this week we are reviewing the latest album from Clan of Zymox. It is number I don't fucking know in their catalog. <laughs> but I'm gonna find out. I okay. mean, they've they've released a lot. Um, but the album is called Spider on the Wall, and it was released um July 24th, as I just lit up like the sun on Metropolis Records. That's better. Um, yeah, and, and where to begin talking about this? Uh, I guess we can give an overall vibe of the album. Um, I am a Clan of Zymox fan um, since days of old, and I think most of us are, if you're into like goth dark wave music. Um, but a lot of people don't really like talking about the band because they're not very consistent in their discography. Well, I think that people don't like talking about the band recently, too, because he had some bad press in California where he talked about building a wall around the stage, said some yeah. things kind of... Yeah, and um, all of that aside, I think that in the modern era of music, we're all very excited to see a new release by the band. I'm super Absolutely. excited for this album. I, I admit to a passing excitement. I mean, with, uh, what was it, singles like She and Lovers, I was like, okay. They sure. were, those are fantastic singles. Yeah, they're great singles, and that's probably why they front-loaded the album with them. Front-loaded. There is no other way to describe this album. Yeah. All the best songs are at the beginning of the album. All the singles are at the beginning of the album. Yes. Um, there's no peppering throughout. There's no ups and downs in the album. It's just best tracks up front, everything else at the end. There's no um, from beginning to end. So the album starts off with one of the singles, She, which has been around for a, a bit now. I think that this came out, what, earlier in the in the spring? Like, this is the single that we've had the most time with? Uh, yeah, this is the first one that came out. It, um, it dropped in February. So, you know, this drops. We all go to quarantine. We're very excited about it because we were eating it up. Um, there are remixes, uh, a lot of remixes by She Passed Away, Ash Code, Antipole, Bragolin. This tells a great story. It says that you've got a band that's been around for almost 40 years and they're collaborating with new band members of the scene. And you're going to hear an album that's going to have a totally fresh sound incorporated into it. And it was super exciting. Yeah, that was totally my impression based on who uh, Clan of Zymox collaborated with um, for those, for that single, for the remixes. And um, I kind of felt like she, just the song itself, had kind of like a, if she passed away, wrote a Clan of Zymox song circa Luis. <laughs> so if you listen to that track, she, there is a signature percussion clap thing that only She Passed Away uses. Like you hear it and you're like, this is a She Passed Away song. And they're using that. Yeah, and that was super cool. And I was just like, hey, this is really awesome. And then we slid into track two, Lovers. Lovers is fun. It's it's still a really great uh, melody. I still play it when I'm spinning um, on weekends. There's a Haunts remix, Actors, and Cellophon. So add that on top of all the she mixes and we're off to a great start. Yeah, and then we get to track three and it's Into the Unknown. Into the Unknown um, was not previously released as a single, but I love it. Um, I mm, Let me rephrase that. I like the way that it begins. I love the sounds that you hear. There's like um, some like sparkling keyboards and like sweeping synths. And I'm like, wow, this is going to be a great next dance floor track. Um, the melody itself doesn't seem to really go anywhere, but the loops that you hear at the beginning are really nice. Yeah, I'll give you that. I, I think it'll take some getting used to, but I, um, I, I'm, I'm liking this track the most, even though it could give more. If that makes any sense. Sure. Oh, shoot, yeah. I have a cat right up in the microphone. Hang on. Always, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then we get to All I Ever Know. All I Ever Know. 
which、um, some people have compared it to、uh, Blue Monday. And I hear the cure, the walk. Like, if you listen to the vocal melody, there is no denying this is exactly the chorus to the walk. Your kitty cat's really loud. Is, is she still loud? Yes. <laughs> But no, I think it's like、um, the like,、uh, progression on the, on the synth. It kind of, kind of, if you like, really like, squint, it sounds like Blue Monday. I, 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 can, I can give, I give people that. So the question with this track is where's the album going? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, like, at this point, are we paying homage to the bands of old in this track? Or was it just a lazy way out with taking riffs that are already established and making a new song out of recycled material?、Um, but then we got to tracks five through ten, which. I have no notes for these tracks. I have no notes for these tracks. I mean, it's, it's、um, <laughs> to be quite honest, everything after like track four. There, there aren't any catchy hooks that I really latched on to.、Um, there's nothing about、uh, Ronnie Mooring's vocals that really differed. The songs kind of droned, and you know, sure, it's pleasant background music, but it sounds like pretty much everything Clan of Zamox has been putting out since the 90s.、Um, I, I agree that the tracks are.、Um... Less powerful than the tracks at the beginning of the album, but I don't think it's the same as what's been. Well, no, wait, is the 90s what we're calling this, the Zymox bad period? No, it was after、uh, like he kind of rebooted the band. I'm, I'm、oh. not including the Zymox bad period. Okay, okay. All of this stuff on the last half of the album s o u n d like new generation Zymox、yes. that people don't terribly love. I don't think it's bad. It's just not compelling. And I, I didn't feel like after the first couple tracks of the album that this brought anything particularly new or interesting to the z y m o x discography. The title track, Spider on the Wall, was the most boring song on the album. I was just yeah. like, yeah,、oh, I can't even remember. I, it I kept, I kept flipping through it, or like that's the song when I'd pause it and be just like, how long is this song? How long is this song? That's what happened to me.、Um, and it's, I just, there was nothing, it wasn't, it wasn't fun. It wasn't party music. It wasn't, it didn't make me want to go out and dance. It didn't make me want to reminisce of days of old. It didn't do anything. And there's nothing, there's nothing inherently wrong with, you know,、um, It not being danceable or it not being nostalgic or not being any of those things. It's、um, like I, I personally just didn't find anything. Like I like new and like weird and interesting and creative and、um, experimental a lot. And when you give me an album that all sounds the same, like I, I get really bored. I, I, I wanted, I think I was the closest to enjoy this album. I wanted. Beautiful dark wave, like I've had in the past. And I wanted an album to take me on a journey, like Clan of Zymox is known for doing.、Mm-hmm. And it didn't give me that. I can put this、and、on the background I, I and read to it. I love every track on this album, and I do not. Yeah. But the first couple of tracks are fantastic. Like, yes. And you know what's going to make, make it redeem is I think I'm going to go, I mean, I already have them all over the place, but pick up the single for She, Lovers. All I ever know, and all those remixes、um, add into the unknown and listen to all of that as an album. That is cool. All of that stuff is cool. So、um, you can skip tracks five through ten. <laughs> I mean, I think track five might say it all.、Um, I don't like myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that, that's... that's all right. It, it, it could possibly be that the band wanted to make a mark on this,、um, this historic period of time.、Um, it is a great period of time to be collaborating with new up and coming bands. It's a great marketing idea. But if you're forcing yourself to put out songs and put out an album, you can tell that there's no inspiration into this, into any of these songs. 
my new lows was close. I was like, oh, this might be interesting. And then it goes nowhere. Yeah. So I, I think this is probably the most tepid review we've ever given. I know, but I, I feel really bad about it, but I am sticking with my opinion because I think it, it needs to be said. There are, there are people who can absolutely enjoy this album, but it's just like, um, you know, the first half of it, great. The second half sounds like the last two releases that they put out, and those were already lukewarm. Right. So some people, you know, may really enjoy that, and that's awesome. Um, and some people may not, and that's fine too. But I really do hope that Clan of Zymox continues to uh, collaborate with the up and co- with, with up and coming artists and, um, you know, draws inspiration from that and, and, you know, maybe, maybe break out of the sound we've been hearing over the last couple of albums. That'd be cool. Good job. So I'll probably go back and do what I was doing and just listen to Medusa. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> oh, Medusa. Yeah, yeah, that's probably, that's probably the most beloved album. Mm-hmm. Or the original Clan of Zymox. Y- yeah. But um, I'm not in any way saying that they should try to reclaim their heyday. Uh, I don't think it can happen. Like, even the best bands that have been around for 40 years, they change their sound. They embrace a new sound. Right. And, and you have to. And, and um, at the end of it, our, our reaction to the album, our what we think of the album, doesn't mean you shouldn't go listen to it. Because anytime any band puts something out, especially one that has, you know, a 40 year discography, you know, not everyone's going to like it. Some people are going to be just like, oh, it's not like whatever. Some people are just like, oh, it, it changed too much. You know, everyone's opinion's different. Yeah. So and some people don't like that, an, that a, a band changes their sound and some people don't like that the band stays exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Just listen to it. Enjoy it. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Yeah, uh, let us know what you think. Um, Let us know why we're wrong, Um, as uh, so many of you do, and it's great because we don't know everything. Um, But uh, until then, we'll catch you next week with our next album review. And we have a bunch of shit coming up that we do every single week uh, instead of running through it at the end of the videos because that takes for fucking ever. We've just put it all in the in the in the video description now. Um, so we would like to thank our lovely Patreon supporters who are going to scroll across the screen either while we're talking or after we're done. Who knows? It's a mystery. You'll find out. I might not. And um, you guys really help make the show possible. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch, and we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.